Welcome, Taurus, to your spiritual reading for July. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on. The overall card we have here is the Sovereign Queen Mob. And the two cards to go with it is Vibration and Commit to Happiness. Very nice. And we'll get to these two cards at the end of the reading. Um, talking about the Sovereign Queen Mob over here is talking about so many beautiful things, actually, um, my friends, because it's really talking about don't give up, right, on your journey. You know, you have the spiritual journey. Make sure you're keeping your vibrations high. Don't give up on what you really want. Protect yourself from any kind of interference that has to do with the vibration. So we're talking about protecting that vibration. Don't allow anyone to um, bring you down. Commit to your own happiness. And then this card is also talking about making sure that your space, your energy around you is not contaminated by people of greed, jealousy, hate, or confusion, okay, or selfishness, any of these things. Always make sure that you have the courage um, that serves, you know, everyone and yourself um, and really trying to stay away from those. Why? Because they're really lowering that vibration. So really, you know, pulling yourself away from people who have these things um, is really a contamination towards you, right? Misery loves company, you know, um, type of scenario over here. Um, there, there could even be some kind of ego-driven person that's around you who just wants to, you know, try to maybe downplay you all the time doing these things. But no matter what it is, it's lowering your vibration. So on your spiritual journey over here, it's talking about making sure that you're hanging out with people who have more bliss, who have more positivity, who can bring the happiness in so that way you can commit to your own happiness as well. Wow. Okay. So good point taken. I'll make sure that I do the same thing because um, I do know that there are people who come in and out of my own life as a Taurus who do have the problems of wanting to um, lower the vibration. You can literally feel those. They complain too much. They want you to you know, and it's not because their life is, is um, like they need help. Let's put it that way. They just complain, right? And we don't need that kind of thing. It's like, if you want help, I'll help you. But to just complain all the time and just, blah, blah, you know what I mean? It's, it's draining and it drains your vibrations. So Spirit's really just saying, make sure that you're centering yourself as the queen mob over here to really make sure that you're hanging out with you know, people who can keep you happy right? Keep your vibrations happy so you're not always trapped within, um, you know, negative places. So, coming over here to the vibration is very important. Actually, we have the King of Swords coming upside down. So, like, there we go. People who talk negative. People who put themselves down, put you down. You know, even if you're around people who are putting themselves down all the time and have no self-courage, um, it gets draining after a while. You know that, I know that. Um, and it's just like, oh my gosh, stop harping on yourself so much. Do something about this, you know? So really watching people and the way their tones are and how their vibration and the way they're speaking, um, because it can actually, if it affects you. Yeah, see, it brings in the five of cups and you might even have an Aquarius for some of you or, um, you know, some kind of a Scorpio that's always talking down um about themselves and it's just like we need to pick this up you know it's like almost to the point where if i can't really do anything to help them maybe i need to stay away from them and that's what the spirit's really talking about hurting yourself away withdrawing yourself so that it, that way you can put yourself into a better place a place of reflection and it's um, i just keep hearing it it's like if i can't help you i can't be around you right because if i'm trying to help you and you're not trying to help yourself when i'm trying to help you counsel you do these things how is it going to work right it's not and this will help you bring in clarity and that's really what it is you're going to get clear about the situation and really getting clear and raising your own vibrations by taking a withdrawal by reclusing yourself away from the situation so whatever this healing is for you my friends it's literally someone around you who is always lowering your vibration whatever they're doing whether it's you know, it just by it just feels like by their low vibrations, 
by their con contamination. Um, commit to your own happiness by having the withdrawn and getting the clarity. You're actually going, yeah, look at that. You got the full, you're going to be able to make the leaps and bounds to keep your happiness. Absolutely. Being able to manifest and take the actions you need to do by having the happiness. The happiness is going to allow you to get to the places that you need to be. Removing the contamination away from your life. Whatever this is, this is a big contamination. This isn't, you know what I mean? This isn't like the sister who's having a rough time um, and I really have to be there. I can't just throw her away. It's not like that, right? This is somebody who's actually really... Um, and I'm not talking about just some, like, negative Nancy. I mean some, like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like, bad, bad. <clears throat> this is going to bring back the peace and harmony that you need and keep you within the peace and harmony that you need. This is a person you don't need to be around. Like I said, it sounds to me like they have a really dirty mouth with the king of swords upside down. This is a person who's just nasty in its own way, right? <clears throat> the inference. And this is going to be reassuring you and allowing you to nurture yourself without having to deal with this um, super low vibrational person. Or maybe people, right? Maybe it's a whole group of them. And this brings in the Nine of Cups because you are going to see your own satisfactions and by committing to your own happiness, you're assuring yourself a better life of, with a higher vibration. Getting the things done that you need to get done, having your needs met, getting the things that you, you know, want, saying I can have these things and really just bringing up and raising your vibrations. Over here, it just feels like this person might even be telling you, you can't have this and you can't have that. Well, you know what? Let me just tell you something. When you commit to happiness and you know where you are and your vibrations are higher, you're going to have a lot more. How do we know anyways? Because the Nine of Cups, the inference, the inference says no. No, you will have. You keep manifesting and taking action on your happiness. Let them sit over there and be unhappy. They're not going to get the things they want because they don't believe they can have anything anyways. Then all of a sudden, you're getting all kinds of things. I'm going to tell you right now, whoever that is, they're going to be like, how did you get that? You said, because I took back my vibration. I took back my self-control. I took back my happiness. And that's really what it is. Okay. And, oops. Getting to your two cards that we had over here. These are your self-care cards. It says spend time with your friends. People who make you happy. And remember, if this person is one of your friends, then maybe you need to X them out and say, I'm sorry, you can't come over because you're too negative. You make us all feel of a lower vibration. You nag too much. You're this. You're always down. You don't ever, never, ever happy. There's always something wrong. Right? So you, now you're going to commit the time for the happiness to the friends and family who give back the happiness. And you'll have movement. Always make yourself moving, right? Yoga, dance, exercise, swim sports, anything, you know what I mean? And just enjoy movement, hike, taking a walk. This clears out that negative energy to replace it with good energy. And this will make you feel so much better and this is going to help you commit to the happiness. You know, it's like breathing through your nose and exhale, right? And I, I mean, I see that too, you know? I mean, sometimes, I don't know, I just had this weird feeling, I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but um, I was just thinking, you know, breathing, it was like, maybe when you're around this person, it's not even, I need clear, deep breathing, maybe they actually make you feel like you're like doing Lamaze, like, <sighs> you know, only for the fact, because you're getting on my nerve, right, I'm trying to stay calm, that you have me heavy breathing, <laughs> I don't know why that I've seen that, and I was like, you know, I've actually been around people like that, though, you know, your nostrils, you know, you're snorting out air over here, <clears throat> getting me all temperamental trying to keep your mouth shut from you know not saying something like hey you know can you just stop that crap it's like ugh. okay try to
and yeah, trying to keep the peace, right? Because they just want to, it's like, it almost feels like maybe some of them just want to fight. So it's like, see you later. I'm taking the death card. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. Why? Because you don't learn. And that's literally them. Somebody is dealing with some kind of um, air sign in this area or, a, or maybe a Scorpio. But it just feels like they're not learning. It's like they, they just can't learn. It's like I try to teach them. That's not the way life has to be. They don't want to learn. I have to walk away. I'm done. I'm done. See? I'm done. Taking action where I need it. Waving my own flag saying, you know what? I'm done. I wave the peace flag because I'm done. Can't handle it anymore. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.